Ferrari enjoyed their strongest weekend of the 2023 season so far in Austria last week, where Carlos Sainz and teammate Charles Leclerc qualified inside the top three. Sainz appeared to be the quicker of the pair in the early stages of the race, but his calls over team radio to be allowed to swap positions with Leclerc were dismissed by the Ferrari pit wall. Sainz was left very frustrated with a compromising pit stop that helped turn a potential first 2023 Grand Prix podium into a sixth-place finish, but team boss Fred Vasser says Ferrari was convinced the strategy was right. Third-placed Sainz was going through the Turn 9 right-hander when he got the automatic virtual safety car message. Leclerc, just ahead of Sainz on the road, was told to pit before being quickly told to stay out when it was clear he'd already passed the pits. Sainz, along with Leclerc, was then called into the pits at the end of the following lap, and opened a gap to Leclerc ahead to not be slowed down in the pit lane. Leclerc was able to re-emerge from his pit stop in second place, but the VSC ending, and slow pit stops for both Sainz and Leclerc, meant Sainz dropped behind both Lewis Hamilton and Lando Norris, who had been able to pit immediately after the VSC was deployed. It also cost Sainz several seconds to Leclerc, and he put the blame on that pit stop timing for his initial five-second penalty for track limits abuse, too. Sainz quickly cleared Norris and Hamilton, with the deficit to Leclerc extending to eight seconds before he started to whittle away at it. However, Sainz's battle to keep Perez behind after his second stop meant he lost touch with Leclerc, eventually finishing 16 seconds behind. He felt third place was possible had he not lost time in the pit stop, and although he didn't say it, probably felt he had the speed to be the lead Ferrari driver. Sainz would ultimately finish P6, and spoke of a sour feeling having not featured on the podium. He later expressed his annoyance with Ferrari's management of the race, telling Formula One, obviously frustrated with the final outcome after having such a strong pace on the mediums, feeling also like I was playing the team game and not getting rewarded with a good result, which obviously leaves you always with a sour feeling. When you feel you have such rhythm and when you are supposed to be doing teamwork, and you see these things happening, it makes you feel like a fool. Not the best feeling, for sure. I had a lot more pace than fourth, being a team player during the first stint and then be compromised like that with a pit stop behind Charles really affected my race. You are being a team player all the time and you have the pace but some decisions by the team leave you like a fool. Yes, the results just didn't come. At the beginning we had the plan to open up fast both going after Max to open up a gap with Mercedes. I had a better pace and played as a team, but there was definitely a part of the race when I was faster and maybe things could have worked differently. Speaking after the race, however, Vasser insisted that Ferrari's priority in Austria was to use the DRS effect to build a gap to the cars behind, and preserve their positions behind the dominant Red Bull of Max Verstappen. He told Sky Sports, at the beginning it was the strategy that we decided that our interests as a team and as drivers was to pull away of P4, P5 in favor and to not attack ourselves. And for sure when you are behind, you are much faster with the DRS and we didn't want to swap each two laps. It was a strategy and they applied the strategy perfectly. With Ferrari showing improved pace since the introduction of a major upgrade package at last month's Spanish GP, Vasser feels the team are now back on the right track following an underwhelming start to this season. However, with Verstappen ahead of Leclerc by more than 20 seconds before pitting on the penultimate lap in an attempt to take the bonus point for the fastest lap, the Frenchman has admitted Ferrari need more if they are to return to race-winning contention. He added, it's not so easy when you're on the pit wall and in the car, but the result is a good one, and I think we are going in the right direction. We did a strong quali on Friday, the race in Canada was a good one, and we confirmed today on a completely different track layout and with a different tarmac and so on. Now we have to do another step if we want to fight with Max and we are pushing for this. Vasser was also asked about where do Ferrari rank following the race, as they had better pace the Aston Martins and the two Mercedes. Safely ahead of Aston Martin and Mercedes, I am not sure that is the right word. And I am sure that they will develop and they will bring some updates on the next couple of events and we will do the same. But no, I think it will be a long one until the end of the season, it is very close because today the gap was two or three tenths a lap, but we have to keep this momentum and this pace because I think we are doing a good job. Ferrari are suddenly right back in the fight for second spot in the constructors' standings, sitting just 21 points behind Aston Martin and a further three adrift of Mercedes who both struggled in Austria. Sainz will hope to make the upset of Austria a distant memory at the upcoming British Grand Prix with another strong drive, Sainz having last season at Silverstone claimed his first and only Formula 1 victory to date. Ferrari will be hoping that any further upgrades can help them inch closer to challenging Red Bull for their first victory in over a year. 
Sainz has finished in the top six seven times in nine Grand Prix, but he has yet to finish on the GP podium in 2023, although he did take third in the sprint event in Austria. While he has outscored his teammates so far this season 82 points to 72, Leclerc has two podium finishes as well as a pole position to his name. Carlos performed well during the Austrian GP weekend, and there were hints he was marginally the faster Ferrari driver. He certainly outperformed Leclerc on sprint Saturday in tricky conditions, but the pendulum swung against him at the end of Q3, when Leclerc picked up time with an attacking run through the final three corners to outqualify him by 0.148 seconds. That meant Sainz ran third early in the Grand Prix behind Leclerc, who had started ahead of him in second place. Sainz joined Ferrari in 2021 when Mattia Bonotto was their team principal. He worked under him for two whole seasons before the Italian outfit decided to a change in leadership. Now, Vassa is in charge of the outfit, and Sainz feels that things are changing at the Maranello-based outfit. Bonotto played a very key role behind the scenes in helping Michael Schumacher and Ferrari dominate the sport between 1999 and 2004. Unfortunately, ever since he became team principal, things never went his way. He fell out with Sebastian Vettel and Leclerc too, with the latter's disastrous 2022 campaign acting as a major reason behind his dismissal. On the other hand, Bonotto shared a very special and close relationship with Sainz, who admitted that he joined Ferrari mainly because of him. The Spaniard recalls how the Swiss-Italian engineer was always very good to him. Additionally, he is still in touch with his former boss, even though there is someone new leading Ferrari at the moment. In 2021 and 2022, when Bonotto was in charge of Ferrari, he made it clear that there wouldn't be any discrimination between Leclerc and Sainz. He treated both of them equally, which often led to a lot of backlashes towards him, as prioritizing Sainz's races spoiled Leclerc's chances of advancing on some occasions. Now, however, Vassar is showing that this particular aspect of management has changed at Ferrari. Leclerc seems like he is the clear number one driver. Ferrari too, doesn't have a car as strong as last year, which has diminished Sainz's role in the team, at least on paper. In Austria, we saw Sainz being visibly upset with the Ferrari management for not letting him overtake his teammate, even though he was faster than him in the initial stages. While Sainz may harbor a bitter feeling over the sacrifice made for the team's strategy, there is no doubt that his impressive record and determination have the potential to rival the likes of Max Verstappen. So, what did you think of Ferrari's strategy in Austria? Do you think they can beat Mercedes and Aston Martin in the constructor standings? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video please consider liking and subscribing to the channel and don't forget to click the bell button to be notified of future videos.